But yeah, going to the Open for the first time, that was a kind of a late, you found out pretty late, right? I did. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, we were at the hospital or no, we were at the doctor's office making like one of the last, uh, you know, visits before, you know, she was going to go into labor and it was not even like a month before. And um, we find out like, all right, you're in. And so like, we're having to make game time because of course I'm like, I can't leave can't you no. like two yeah. days after, but then at the same time, it's like I'm first time getting into the open, yeah. and so it's just yeah, it was it was needless to say, it was a whirlwind of a time, and uh, it, it's I'm, I'm f- fortunate and thankful to, that it happened the way that it did because it, it it was crazy. I yeah. mean, it could, it could have gone a bunch of different ways, and fortunately, it, it all worked out well. Yeah, and and you played in the open like during COVID. I remember mm-hmm. texting you saying you need to go to this place, this place, and you're like, yeah. I'm pretty much locked down. Like, oh yeah, which is tough. Yeah, um, but I think you did tell me that the um, the players' lounge had good wine. I think is what you told me. Yes, I did. They Which had a, a little whiskey. They they had it, it was it, it stood up to the expectations of European tour golf mm-hmm. uh, and how they, uh, the, you, you know, you always around Ryder Cup time you, you think about the camaraderie of the European team versus you know USA and and it just makes sense you know when you go and see like after the rounds like they're literally going to the bar and the locker room and having a drink together and kicking it where you know in the states it's just it's not as buddy buddy as that uh so that was that was that was such a cool you know part of the week yeah well so what i mean going over there had you played links golf before that had you been to europe and played golf on a buddy's trip no it was first first time over to europe yeah so the wind's not really an issue because you i mean you grew up in oklahoma playing Mm -hmm. oklahoma state so wind is not an issue but just general different golf over there isn't it a lot on like a lot of ground balls and pop yeah. bunkers of the enemy and yeah what was that first I mean, first experience like or first practice round like yeah uh well the first practice round was straight off the plane so it was a, a little bit uh you know I, I probably don't remember much actually but <laughs> no it was um man it was, it was so cool and um you know like you said the win part wasn't you know foreign to me mm-hmm. the the tough part uh was the the speed of the greens and around the greens you know like like you often see like uh we we joke about the scores probably like the walking you know the standard bear and the scores that you know put into the system uh you know green hit putting it's like there's probably times where they messed up because like there's so often yeah there's really tell. no difference right yeah. and so uh that that was an adjustment and um you know we talked about how much of an advantage it was uh like colin and you know a few other obviously big names went the week prior and played the scottish before gotcha and we we're talking about what a, an advantage that was because you just you start to get acclimated with that style of golf with the speed of the mm-hmm. the greens the the just the undulation around the greens just getting that just acclimated and familiar with it all right. the, the nuance of it because it, it is you know as you know it's it's very very different and in what we're trying to do the difference between winning and missing the cut or playing well or not it's it's you know it's very very slim and so yeah, that yeah. that little bit of comfort and familiarity and just that acclimation to that style of golf it, it makes a big big difference yeah that's one thing i noticed when i first came to the states i struggled to putt and chip because the greens are so fast and i remember right. the first usga event i played in i was like i felt like i was putting down the stairs and right. i putted so bad that week because i just i'd never putted on greens that fast yeah. but for you it's the opposite you're going there oh. you know they're putting at like a 10 right or right. 11 maybe right right you know if it's windy they are but they don't look like they're fast Either. Right. You know, there's a lot of growth there, so they don't break as much. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, are you a die putter or are you a bit of like a? I'm I'm a little bit of a die putter, which so you for me struggled. makes it yeah. tough, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, it was such a such a change, you know. God, it's I do miss it. Um, I can't wait to go back and play some golf over there. But yeah, it's like after playing events here, you're just like it's different golf, I and mean, people oh. don't get into it unless you play both, right? Oh, no doubt. And you know, you always hear uh, in my world about you know the difference in the golf and the difference mm-hmm. in the fans and and it's it's you know it's essentially the antithesis of what we were just talking about with the waste yeah. management like it's the complete opposite and after now being over there um i haven't played the masters yet mm-hmm. uh but i tell people if i could win one golf tournament it would be the open yeah and it's because of the environment the fans just the way that they you know not that again like i said i love waste management mm-hmm. i love the rowdiness um but there's just a different um, type of respect for the game, uh-huh. for for what we're doing. Um, 
you know, I, I played with Bryson on Saturday, and this was at at the Open, and this was at a time when uh, there was, you know, a lot of, you know, Brooks and Bryson yeah, and this yeah. and that chatter and whatnot, and it was just crazy because I had played with them either right before or right after, and it was just crazy to see the difference in how fans treated him there versus here. Yeah. Um, and again, like I said, I I, I love some rowdiness. I. I wouldn't mind if golf got a little bit edgier, uh, but it's just, it's so cool to see kind of just the roots of a gentleman's game mm-hmm. be played and the fans kind of reciprocate kind of that just yeah. environment and that, that respect. Yeah. And, and the one thing that comes to mind is you probably got clapped a lot for like, if you were ever oh, like, if you were ever yeah. like short sighted, you're in a tough spot and you hit it to 10 feet, they probably really clapped you and they understood how good that shot was. Whereas out here, you're like, I've just like stiff, basically got it to 10 feet and that's amazing. I have a world class shot. People are like, you don't get any claps. Right? Correct. Like, what are Correct. you doing? Yeah, no, so, it, we, we laughed about it because, you know, over here you can hit a wedge to 40 feet, but if it spun 20 feet to get to that 40 feet, people are, you know, yeah. going crazy because everyone's just so much more infatuated by the, the awe inspiring stuff, mm-hmm. the shock factor stuff here and where there, they just have a little bit better understanding of what, yeah. you know, the, the true, you know, just solid golf is right. what, 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 what a good play, what good golf is. So yeah, it's just yeah. different. Would you, do you think going forward then the plan would be to kind of, I guess, play the Scottish before and, and then take a, fa- I guess, take a family trip. Cause it'd probably be around, you know, your, your little one's birthday. Right. So that's yeah, uh, super ironic. You said that, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Awesome. Um, and so I would have loved to have last year gone to the Scottish, but, um, long story short, the PJ tour just recently, um, you know, basically got into a relationship with the European tour. Mm -hmm. And now the Scottish used to, they would send a handful of invites to, you know, players from the PJ tour U S. Um, and so, you know, I would have loved to play last year, but I wouldn't have gotten a spot in the field. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but now moving forward, because of the relationship with the PGA Tour and European Tour kind of changing, um, there's now going to be guaranteed awesome. a lot more spots for PGA Tour players. Yeah. And so based off of my play, I'm going to have a spot into that field. And so it, it's, a, like I said, it's such a value uh, to, so valuable to go and play the week before. In this, and it's just, right. you know, get a chance yeah. to go and play. I mean, it's a dream come true kind of thing. And like you said as well, uh, we keep talking about this. This little girl is going to be a little bit spoiled because uh, <laughs> we just went in and submitted all of her uh, passport paperwork because she's going to be coming over. My wife and girl yeah. are going to come over for the Scottish, for the for the British, and her birthday's you know over yeah. the, at the same time. Awesome. And so it's it's uh, it's going to be a cool trip. What a great time for her to have a birthday! Oh, right? yeah, <laughs> must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah.